Welcome! This is a short yoga practice to prepare you for running or hiking. You don't need a yoga mat and you can keep your shoes on. So we will begin in standing with your feet about hip distance apart. And then next time when you inhale, lift up on your tiptoes, bringing your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down and lower your heels to the ground. And we'll do that again on the inhale, lift up on your toes, bringing your arms up, stretch. And as you exhale, bring your heels down and your arms down. Continue with that and try to deepen your breathing to about six second inhalation, lift up. And about six second exhalation when you bring the heels down. And again, inhale, go up, reach up high. And as you exhale, bring your heels down and your arms down. Next time we'll stay up, so on the inhale, lift up, raise the arms. Stay here and exhale. Interlace the fingers and turn your palms up if it works okay for you. And continue to breathe here. Every time you inhale, try to lengthen up a little bit more, coming up higher on the balls of your feet, reaching up. With the exhalation, soften down a little bit. And keep breathing like that, becoming longer, taller every time you inhale. And releasing the height a little bit as you exhale. And then next time when you exhale, bring your heels down, lower your arms. Keep your feet about hip distance apart. With the inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, gradually bend the knees, placing your chest over your thighs, arms down, relax your neck. On the inhale, lead with the chest as you lift up, going through the chair pose and then going all the way up into standing. And with the next exhalation, again, contract your abdomen, bend your knees, and place your chest over your thighs. On the way up, make sure to lead with the chest, arms out, go up into standing. And with the exhalation, again, gradually contract your abdomen as you bend down, bending the knees, relax the neck. Continue to move like that, up and down with your breath. And the next time when you squat down, stay down there, relax your neck. Hold on to your ankles or somewhere slightly above the ankles. With the next inhalation, pull your chest up while keeping your knees bent. And with the next exhalation, move your chest down and try to extend your legs a little bit more, best you can. On the inhale again, bend your knees deeply and pull your chest up, still holding on to your ankles. And with the exhalation, bring your chest towards your thighs and try to lift your butt up. Let's do that again on the inhale, bend the knees and lift the chest. With the exhalation, bend down, extending your legs best you can. Don't strain it. One more time, inhale, lift the chest, deeply bend your knees. And exhale, bend forward. Stay here, touch your fingertips to the ground and then step your left foot back. So you end up in a lunge type position. With the next inhalation, move your chest forward and up away from the navel, almost arching back. And then as you exhale, slowly extend your front leg best you can and bend down toward it. Relax your neck. On the inhale, let's return back into the lunge, lifting your chest forward and up, lift up on your fingertips. And with the exhalation, gradually straighten your front leg best you can and bend down over it, relaxing the neck. Let's do that again. Inhale, return into the lunge and pull the chest forward and up away from the navel. With the exhalation, extend your front leg bending forward. And again, inhale, return into lunge. Stay here and exhale, contract your abdomen. Make sure that your legs feel strong. And then with the next inhalation, lift your upper body up, raising your arms up. Make sure that your shoulders stay slightly in front of the hips to protect your lower back. And we'll stay here. Every time you inhale, try to lift your rib cage up away from the hips. And every time you exhale, actively contract your abdomen to create support. Continue to breathe like that. Keep your breathing deep.
And with the next exhalation, bend forward, place your hands on the floor again. Step your left foot forward. With your feet about hip distance apart and knees soft, hang down for a moment, relax your neck. And then whenever you feel ready, step your right foot back. So again, you end up in a lunge position with your left foot forward. With the next inhalation, lift up on the fingertips, pulling your chest forward and up, away from the navel. And as you exhale, extend your front leg, bending forward over it. Pull your back heel toward the ground. On the inhale again, bend your front knee and pull the chest away from the navel. And with the exhalation, straighten your front leg and bend down over it. Continue with that inhale into the lunge. Fingertips stay on the floor for now and exhale, bend forward over your front leg, extending it. And again, inhale, go into the lunge. And exhale, extend the leg, relax the neck. Next time when you go into the lunge, stay here and exhale, engage your abdomen, strong legs, and on the inhale, lift your upper body up, raising your arms up as well. Once here, make sure that your upper body is slightly in front of the hips. Your legs are strong and active. Back leg is straight, if possible. Every time you inhale, try to lift your ribcage up and forward, away from your hips. And with the exhalation, create the abdominal contraction to support your back. Continue to breathe here. Keep your front thigh about parallel to the ground or above. Just make sure it doesn't drop below parallel. Full deep breath, lengthening through both sides of the body. And with the next exhalation, bend forward. Place your fingertips on the floor. If you can, step your foot forward so both feet are about hip distance apart now. Relax your neck. Press your feet firmly into the ground. Bring your arms out to the sides. Lead with the chest and go all the way up into standing. Reach up high, stretch. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down and place your hands on your hips. From here, shift the weight of the body to your left foot. So you're standing on your left foot. And the next time when you inhale, slide your right foot forward. As you exhale, Draw half a circle with your right leg, moving it out and back, and return it forward in half circle as well, out and forward. The wider the circle, the better. Again, out and back, and then out and forward. One more cycle like that, out and back. And then move the leg out, hold it up here. Make sure that your toes, the toes of your right foot and your right knee are both pointing forward. So your leg is lifted directly sideways. Hips are facing forward as well. And from there, move your leg slightly back, ever so slightly, with the toes and the knees still pointing forward. Stay upright, continue to breathe. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen, creating support. And with the next exhalation, put your foot down on the ground. Shift the weight back and forth from side to side a few times. And then bring the weight to your right foot. Stand tall. With the next inhalation, extend your left leg forward, keeping it straight and the foot slightly raised off the ground. And as you exhale, move your leg out and back. And again, that semi-circular motion. And with the next inhalation, move the leg out and forward. And again, exhale, move it out and back. And then out and forward. Continue to go like this, moving back and forth following the rhythm of your breath. It's really important for us not to move your foot in a linear fashion, but rather in a circular fashion. Good. 
And the next time when you bring your leg out to the side, hold it there, lift it off the ground if you can. The toes of your left foot and your left knee are pointing forward. Hips are pointing forward as well. Stand tall. Keep your leg raised like that. And every time you exhale, contract your abdomen, creating support. Make sure that you do not lean your upper body to your right. All the action should be taking place in your left hip. And then as you exhale, put your foot down. Bring your feet wide apart, please. Keeping your feet about parallel to each other. And then next time when you exhale, bend forward, sliding your hands down along your legs. Keep your hands on your ankles, floor, shins, whatever is more comfortable to you. Relax your neck. Next time when you inhale, bend your knees and pull them out to the sides and lift the chest away from the navel. And as you exhale, straighten your legs and bend down. We'll do that a few more times. Inhale, deep squat, pulling your knees apart and lifting the chest. And with the exhalation, straighten your legs best you can. Bend down, relax the neck. And again, inhale, bend the knees. Lift the chest. Exhale, bend forward, relax the neck. One last time, deep squat, pull your knees apart, and exhale, bend down. Press your feet firmly into the ground, bring your arms out to the sides and go up into standing. Stay here with your arms out to the sides, take a deep breath, and with the next exhalation, twist, bringing your right hand to your left ankle and looking up, and with the inhalation, come back to the starting position. As you exhale, take your left hand to your right ankle, turn your body and look up and with the inhalation back to the center. Continue with that. Exhale, right hand goes to your left ankle. Inhale, back up into standing. And exhale, left hand goes to your right ankle, turn the body and look up. Inhale, back up. Do it one more time on each side, please. Make sure to engage your abdomen with the exhalation. As you twist. And then next time when you bring your right hand to the left ankle, stay there. Keep your legs active to minimize the movement of your pelvis. Every time you inhale, lengthen the spine. And every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and try to deepen the twist by moving your ribcage. Continue to breathe like that. Focus on deepening your twist slightly with every exhalation by using your abdomen. And continue with that, but turn your head to look down. Continue to rotate your body. And then next time when you inhale, come on up into the upright position, arms out to the sides. As you exhale, bring your left hand to your right ankle or shin, doesn't matter. And again, every time you inhale, lengthen the spine. And every time you exhale, try to deepen the twist, looking up for now, reaching up toward the sky. Check and make sure that your legs are strong, engaged. Keep contracting your abdomen with the exhalation. We'll continue to do the same thing, but look down now. And then from here with the next exhalation, bend down. If it feels okay to you, hold on to the opposite elbows. Relax your neck, let your head hang. Relax your shoulders, let your arms hang. If you need to soften the knees a little bit, help yourself. Take a couple more nice deep breaths here. Press your feet firmly into the ground and with the next inhalation, bring your arms out to the sides, lead with the chest and go all the way up into standing, reach up high. And with the exhalation, bring your arms down. And now you're ready for your run. Enjoy.